What's up guys, Adam here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take your ordinary, plain, boring kind of photo uh, and turn it into a more attractive design to complement your website. Let's take a look. All right, so in today's example here, uh, I'm gonna use this demo page to tackle this section here. So we have what I consider a standard two column layout, text on one side, image on another. Uh, but as you can see, the image and the te the images next to the text here are simply just rectangular uh, square edges, no styles added to it. Um, pretty plain Jane, as I would say. So we're gonna add some design and style to it to make it stand out a little bit more and complement the rest of the page. What we'll do first is go ahead and edit the page. <clears throat> scroll down to where you see those images and now we're going to go ahead and jump in and style that image so first thing to make sure is this image is a generate blocks image block uh, that's noticeable by this blue icon shown here above the image uh, if it's a black one that's going to be the standard gutenberg image block and you will not have the settings that we need and i'm going to dive into in a second uh, in order to style your image so you can always click this and hit transform to image the blue with the blue icon uh, and that'll convert it to a generate blocks uh, image block. All right, so with that image selected and we're going to first go ahead and add some rounded corners to soften the edges a bit. So if you scroll down and under spacing, you're gonna go to the fourth one in the bottom and there's border radius this is where we're going to edit those corners so let's go ahead and give it eight all the way around uh gives us nice enough edge there to soften it up um and next we're going to go ahead and add a subtle drop shadow just to kind of bring that image off the page a little bit but not so much that it's cheesy and doesn't look good so um what we could do is Go ahead under effects, come down to box shadow and toggle that box shadow on. And you can see automatically by default, there's a real subtle box shadow, but it's almost so subtle you can't see it. Uh, we're gonna make it slightly more apparent than that, um, just so that it's noticeable. So you can leave these uh, settings alone to start. Um, so device all, normal state and self. Now the color, we're gonna go ahead and choose a little bit darker of a color. We want the shadow to be just slightly more prominent. Um, then horizontal offset and vertical offset. What this does is how far it pushes the shadow to the right, which is horizontal, and vertical down or up. So right now it's five and five. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to three and three. I like it a little bit less uh you know depth to it um sh the blur let's play with this a little bit so just to see how much of a blur we really want if we doubled that and went to 20 you could see uh upped it quite a bit and i actually kind of like that look it's it softens it up even more um so we're going to leave that alone at 20 and spread we're not actually going to touch because we don't want it to spread any further out than it already is so we go ahead and close that out and you can see it actually looks pretty decent. Um, now, if we wanted, we could add a border to it as well. Um, if you wanted to do maybe a colored border. So we can do, say, three pixel border under spacing just above border radius. And by default here, you can see it's a black border. Um, I'm gonna test, if we click under colors, I'm gonna say a white border and see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that better than the black. Um, it helps to find the image more and just blends in better. So uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with that actually. And if we wanted, uh, we could even take these same settings that we just applied to this one image and apply them to this image here. So if you select that block, hover over the one that has the two, uh, two squares overlapping each other. It says styles when you hover. Click that and say copy styles come to your other block, click that same icon, and paste styles. 
and there you go. Uh, you can automatically apply those same exact settings across with a matter of two clicks. Um, now, there's several other adjustments you can make in playing with these settings. Um, you can do a transition uh, so that if someone hovers over an image, it can actually float or um, you can do the box shadow only show on hover. Uh, so I could show you on editing our current one. If we go under state and we just say on hover, now you see the shadow disappeared and it will appear when we hover over it. It's a neat effect. And if you wanted, you can turn on transition uh, for that box shadow so that uh, it has a little bit more smoother transition uh, you know, when hovering. So we'll say hover, uh, self, ease, and now you can see, if we close that, uh, it's got a little bit softer uh, effect to it now with the transition. Now some more effects uh, in the fun of generate blocks are more in the effects panel, right? So um, if we play with the filter effect, we can actually transform this image into black and white or brighter um, or invert it. And so there's some fun things to play around with. If we turn that on, add a filter, um, we could say contrast and increase the contrast. As you can see, our image is getting more vivid and, and deeper hues and pull down the contrast and doing the opposite. Um, you could also adjust the grayscale if you wanted this black and white adjust that there. Um, you can also do an invert. So we can invert it. Obviously that's not the, uh, <laughs> the coolest effect and not one I personally use. Um, you can also saturate and so on and so forth. Um, as you get the, the, the idea that uh, Generate Blocks has a ton of capabilities in styling their images with their image block. I hope you found this useful in designing your images to uh, Complement your page designs a little bit more and uh, stand out from your ordinary just uh, plain image. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.